So in season one, we see Mrs. Coulter and she is, to all intents and purposes, an evil villain. She is very high up in the Magisterium, which is considered an oppressive and evil institution in Lyra's world. And in that world, she is responsible for separating humans from demons. So she's pretty horrific. We also find out, of course, that she is Lyra's mother. How am I supposed to trust you when no one tells me the truth? She's your mother, Lyra. No. One thing that's so amazing about the books is this relationship with demon and human. And it's really a relationship with yourself. So I always found that the key to Mrs. Coulter. It's really the key relationship with her is with Monkey. I'm perfectly prepared. You see in the first two seasons that she has a quite a violent relationship with her monkey. They're a really good team in many ways. They manipulate together really well, but on their own, they kind of hate being with each other in the same space. I always felt it was something about Mrs. Coulter's own level of self-worth. I always thought that was really fascinating. And also the fact that they can separate. This is something unique to Mrs. Coulter, that she can separate from her demon which causes enormous amounts of pain for both of them. So there's something really deeply sad and upsetting about their relationship. <laughs> In season two, we start to learn that Mrs. Coulter is actually much more complicated than just being an evil villain. And she, of course, is incredibly intelligent and has a natural instinct and wisdom. But because she has existed and lives within a patriarchal society, uh, there's limits to what she can really achieve and what she's allowed to achieve. We cannot allow this woman to take control. So you understand why she is what she is and who she is and how those virtues have in some ways become vices. And she starts to understand that herself too, which leads to some sort of form of, in a way, breakdown or madness. and her need to control the situation and control her daughter. As her mother, all I want to do is to keep her safe. And the only way I can do that is to know what she is doing. She knows that Lyra is, she will change the course of destiny and fate for not just their world, but other worlds. And I think initially, Mrs. Coulter is wanting to hold on to Lyra to stop that prophecy from becoming true. I'm searching for Lyra myself, but if you find her, please. Keep her safe. Because she feels it is sinful and it is wrong, and she's been told that by existing in the Magisterium and um, being sort of conditioned by the Magisterium. And Mrs. Coulter realizes that's no longer sinful and actually something to be protected and to celebrate. And so her ideals change or her objectives change from stopping Lyra becoming that to allowing her and making sure she does become it. She's Eve. This time she must not fall. I'll see to that. Season three, it's wild. It's a wild season. You have God, philosophy, all in one, and it's all coming to a head. It's got loads more creatures and new worlds to encounter. Plus, for Mrs. Coulter, it's her learning to be a true mother. It's learning about sacrifice. It's learning about the love and loss that comes with mothering. I haven't brought you here to keep you jailed. I've done it to keep you safe. So we see her sort of protecting Lyra and fighting for her in a different way than we've seen before. Who is she in danger from? The Magisteria. And they intend to have her killed.